All right, we're going full Spagiver. Stow video time. <laughs> So uh, we we have not done a stove video in a while. We we did a we did a we did a um, a beginner backpacking video on stoves. We've done stove videos. Look at all these beautiful <laughs> stoves. I just want a chance to cut to the other camera right now. We we've done stove videos. Have we? Yes, but people keep asking us to do more. <laughs> Okay, we've never done a video talking about all of the different kinds of stoves we, we have used throughout our backpacking career. I'm pretty sure we have. Have we? Probably in the backpacking basics, but we're doing yeah. another one. We're doing it again. We are going to go through kind of our stoves we've used under the context of what is the best one, and we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. I already know what he's thinking. <laughs> the um, answer is always the same. Kids. No, no, no. There's definitely some worse stoves out of these stoves. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. We're missing your uh, Snow Peak one. Uh, this is representing that's true canister stoves. So the first stoves we ever used. So if you check out, we did a video um, on a, kind of our transition to the ultralight backpacking. Check that out. The very first stove we used, and it's not on the picture, not on the table here because we've obviously gotten rid of it. Was the MSR Whisper Light, which was a liquid fuel stove weighed the stove itself weighed about a pound and a half plus the fuel bottle so about two two and a half pounds why did you buy that that's a great question honestly because it looked cool i think oh okay i mean those got those fancy red bottles yeah so i think the red bottle um got it for me now the thing i'll say before we move away from liquid gas stoves um they're really only good they're only shining stars for melting snow well, just cold weather. Cold weather, yes. Cold weather, melting snow, or something where you need a flame that burns forever. Or just like massive group cooking or something. Massive group cooking is another one. Um, that's a liquid gas stove. We don't have it up here. We're not going to spend a ton of time talking about it. It works great. Yeah. Um, it's got a pump system. It's got a lot of moving parts. It's just heavy and bulky. It's heavy, bulky. I would only recommend it uh, for the, the use cases we talked about. Um, so what did you get after? What was your first stove? My first stove, which is, uh, it's in the drawers over there, but it is a canister stove. It was a Snow Peak. I think it was a titanium canister stove. Uh, this is the Whisper Light, but, or not the Whisper Light. This is the Pocket this, this Rocket. This the Pocket Rocket. But you, you get the concept. It was a canister stove yeah. by Snow Peak. Um, so what was the second stove you got? Second stove I got after that was actually this uh it's, is it's and it's still your go-to stove yeah the trail designs uh caldera system and we'll put the the weights in the do you remember how much it cost no you we'll, we'll put it up there yeah you, you can still buy them why and, are you still using this thing because it doesn't break and it's aluminum too like this is a beer can it's yeah. aluminum beer can um now what go through the stoves you use with it because i know you've changed that up a little bit yeah so this is just the stock alcohol stove that it comes with. It's made out of like pop cans or beer cans yeah. or something. Works great. It's fine. Um, and but, then I, but but then we, but then we got bored. What's uh, I'll hold it up. What's uh, what's this little guy right that here? That is made by Zelf. Zelf stoves. That is the modified Starlight. And why did you get the modified Starlight? So the modified Starlight is specifically marketed towards the trail designs caldera cones is it really it is i didn't know that yeah i believe so yeah and um it's uh very small very light but the, it's claim to fame is its fuel efficiency yeah how, mu how efficient is it i can boil probably about two cups of water on maybe a little less than a half of an ounce of fuel depending on the temperature so that's a to for a frame of reference, and we'll we'll talk about some more alcohol stoves here. But that's about twice as efficient. Twice as yeah, probably twice as efficient. Um, and so in terms of how much water you can boil per unit fuel, sure, right. <laughs> that's how we measure efficiency of a stove. Okay, um, but anyways, it is super efficient, and um, you know it's not quick, it's not fast. But if you're looking for fuel efficiency, it's been awesome. So if you want to cut down on fuel weight, that that's where that's where it shines. And, and you could use the Starlight without this Caldera cone setup. You of just course. need a pot stand, yeah. Yeah, of course. So my biggest gripe with this setup is it's a pain in the rear, I think. 
you gotta do this and move. No, no, you don't. Yeah, well, yeah. this this pot doesn't have any handles yeah, on it. So you gotta, put you gotta when put it's that boiling up in here. Yeah, when it's boiling water, you gotta like grab it with a with a rag and like do this number. Yeah, and I get that it's it's definitely more like bulletproof for sure. I mean, you can buy Caldera cones for any pot. Right. You don't have to get the Foster's one. Right? Yeah. I mean, it. So oddly enough, I agree with you. It is a pain because there's nothing to to carry it with and, and this thing doesn't come out of here easily so when you're pouring the water you got the whole thing yeah but you know what such a pain <laughs> it's it is a pain but i keep using it so it does keep using yeah. it <laughs> so for me i guess it's very efficient the efficiency and how light it is it's uh yeah it's it's worth it um so we've we've gone on your stoves i'm gonna go through my stoves and we'll talk about what our light our pros and cons of all of them okay so we already touched on the MSR Whisper Light. Um, the stove I got after that was this guy right here. So the uh, pocket uh, rocket, the pocket rocket, and for a canister stove, it's it's on the heavier end and on the more expensive end. We'll throw the specs up. Um, but like all MSR products, it's bomb proof. It works great. Um, it, it's way, I will say it's way better than my Snow Peak. Uh, my it's about twice the price. It's about twice the um, price, but it is way better now, than my Snow Peak. Why did I get now? I got this pocket rocket actually for our Laurel Highlands trip before our YouTube days, so it's not documented. Um, why did I get the pocket rocket? I gotta be honest, I was in REI. Maybe it's these red fuel cans. I don't know. They tried to sell me into MSR's like version of the jet boil. I was like, no, 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 bro. I'm here for a canister stove well, that, only. Yeah, okay, only. <laughs> um. I, the pocket rocket's been great. Um, my my only gripe is it is you know I got, these things are really pointy. <laughs> so if you don't carry it in the in the yeah. thing, it, they can like rip stuff. It's, it's, yeah, and so you don't carry it in the plastic container. I don't. I wrap it up in a in bandana. A, in a bandana and put it in your cook kit. Um, so I used the um, the whisper light up until twenty po or sorry the pocket rocket up until like um, twenty seventeen maybe, and then. We actually, I started watching Shug's videos, and that's where I found this number. So this is a very famous stove. This is the um, Zelf Fancy Feast stove. So it's his version of the cat can stove. This is very popular. Why I got this one specifically versus making one? A it was fifteen dollars. Um, B this thing, if you can see it in there, it's got a wick. And you can light it. So you don't have to do this number where you put it down and you're flaming it and your thumb, my thumb always gets a little singed doing that. Um, so you can light this stove from the side. Uh, and it, it takes a little bit of time and it, it will light all the way around the peripheral and then it'll light the inside. But the reason I got this was one, it was 15 bucks. Two, it's got a wick in it. And three, it's got this lip here. So it has an integrated uh, pot stand. Yep. So you just need that. You go there and you're good to go. Now, obviously, it doesn't have a windscreen, so we got these um, off of Etsy, actually. Just the titanium windscreen. Titanium windscreen. They're all over the place. 15, 20 bucks. We'll throw, throw some stuff up on the screen. So the whole setup, you know, goes like that, just like that. Um, this setup works great. Yeah. I mean, it's I fantastic. used this in um, Picture Rocks. You've used it all over the place. Yeah, last trip, um, I didn't use... You're right. Our picture rocks trip. I, I did not use the pocket rocket. We, I've been using the pocket rocket a lot when I travel. So when I went out to the Tahoe area, I took the pocket rocket. Uh, when we went to Colorado, we took the pocket rocket. It's just it's easier to find canisters when you're traveling. I mean, you can still get heat, but you got to go to Walmart or a gas station um, versus the trips we've been on. It's been easy to, to get to an outfitter or an REI um, where we knew they were going to have gas canisters. I think we also like the pocket rocket because we're lazy. Yeah, and if you have one stove for three people, the pocket rocket's the way to go. Yeah. Um, so that's the the only reason now that I'm using the pocket rocket is when it's just easier to get canisters. Um, so it's usually traveling. But I, I do, if it's just me and it's not winter, you know, the alcohol gets a little tough in the winter. Yeah, it gets... It's it gets just a harder, finicky. yeah. Um, but I, I, I do like the uh, the ease and the simplicity and the per unit fuel. The alcohol is slightly cheaper. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of the evolution of our stoves. Um, so you know, Andy's uh, 
really been sticking to what he's been using the longest. I, I swap around a little bit, and then in terms of group camping, we will will bias towards the um, the whisper light. Not the whisper light, the pocket. The pocket rocket. Ah. Oh. So, so let's make some recommendations here. So, okay, yeah. Let's, I, let's make some recommendations. So, what is the best one? Well, okay. So, if you have to have one stove, if you have to have one stove out of all these, what are you getting? Canister stove. You're getting the pocket rocket. Yeah, you're getting the pocket or some type of canister stove. Yeah. Pocket rocket's awesome. Um, if you have to have one stove to rule them all, D- meaning like, you know, the canister stoves can still be a little finicky in the winter. They can. They, but it's going to be better than alcohol. And I just think from like an ease of use, the canister stove's probably a little bit easier to use. It's but definitely easier to use. Yeah. So if you have to have one stove, then the the canister stove's the way to go. Now, let's say you want to take a foray into the alcohol stove market. Oh, I got a recommendation. And and let's we didn't really talk about like the really the the canister versus alcohol. We're not going to get into that. Like the pros and cons of each. Um, just high level alcohol stoves tend to be lighter. Yeah, that's about it. So, what are your recommendations in terms of alcohol stoves? Absolutely, the cat can stove. So hold that one. The up fancy again. fees. The so fancy fee. Even cat. though you don't use this, I don't use that. That is mine, and I um. It, it the built-in pot stand. So you recommend it even though you don't use it, right? <laughs> if, if you have to, of course, I recommend a lot of stuff. That's true. <laughs> um, uh, only because if we're talking like if you want to get an out into alcohol stoves and you want to buy one alcohol stove to start out yeah. with, that is the that versus in my, the called air cone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's more versatile right now. For sure. You can use whatever. It's got the pot stand on it. You can yeah. use whatever you want on it. It's easy to light. Um, but I think, and and it's cheap and it's light. You can make them. Yeah. Are there lighter and cheaper alcohol stoves? Yes. Of course. Of course there are. Yes. But as far as like ease of use and using it, like your very first alcohol stove, that is the winner hands down. So what I've used, why are you, when are you recommending the Caldera setup over the the cat can setup? Well, I'm just saying if you're going to get a Caldera cone, (laughs) you're going to get a Caldera cone. Uh, I mean, it comes with the alcohol stove. It comes with is yeah, fine. Yeah, it works great. Uh, but if you want to be a little bit more efficient and a little bit more lighter, then by all S- means, see, the, the start, the modified starlight. See, to me, the big, the big advantage of the Caldera cone is the efficiency, which you're yeah. only going to get with the starlight. Sure, sure. I just think if you're if you're new to alcohol stoves, don't mess with that. No, I mean, by all means, jump into it. But if you if you're, I I think that there's that's easier to use for sure and it's more versatile because you could take existing stuff that you have already like pots and pans and use it mm-hmm. and you can definitely do you can buy like a cold air cone for all all sorts of stuff but um yeah i mean i think that i think that setup wins if like you're looking to jump into it and you want your first alcohol stove nice. now obviously like you said you can't beat the efficiency of the cold air cone no and if you're someone you doing like a through hike and you got long areas in between resupplies and efficiency matters. I think you should go with that. Yeah. I mean, this is my, this is my setup and I've used it once. Yeah. <laughs> I, that thing, I use it all the time. Yeah. You use it nonstop. Right, it's just easier to deal with than that thing. And I don't, yeah. I'm not, I'm not in a position where I need necessarily need fuel efficiency, but I will say it is nice when Andy brings that caldera setup because he can boil water for two of us with the same amount of fuel it takes me to boil water for one of us. Yep. So that's cool. So that's it. That is um that's a run through of our stoves, kind of our recommendations, what yeah. we think are the better ones for what situations. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's lots there's lots of great stoves out there. This is just what we've used. Um. So. Yeah. So our ode to Spagiver is over. Let us know your thoughts on stoves, and we will catch everybody on the next one. See ya. See ya.